Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to a diecast review of the featured cars and planes from 2016 Case A. And I have a vote for you guys before we get into a review of what video you want to see on Tuesday. Uh, do you guys want to see Greminacer in Trouble, Manny Rodriguez and Miles Axelrod with Microphone, the Tractor Stampede 5 pack, or do you guys want to see the newly re-released Silver Racers exclusive to Walmart? So please let me know what you want to see on Tuesday and if you'd like, you could put a list of the uh, videos in order of how you want to see them. And you may be wondering why I said 2016 case and this actually is a 2016 case. Uh, Mattel just skipped ahead and went to 2016 very early on because many stores did not order the 2016 cases. Here we have Ty Sinatis who is in the first 2015 case along with Stretch S Team Dusty and some other re-releases and some stores did get this case but not many. I did not see many stores locally that had this case and no one reported of finding the second 2015 case with Packrat, Firebird, Vasquez, and Falco. So apparently Mattel just went straight on with 2016 which you'll have all the cars, I mean all the planes that were new in 2015 like Tyson at this year. He'll be in 20, 2016 planes case B and the contents for that will be down below. And I ordered a planes case B from Give Me Collectibles. And if you want to contact him to see if he has any of 2016 case A, which has these planes, and the uh, case B, which contents will be down below, you could use his email, and uh, the information how to do that will be in the description below. I'm not sure if he has any more left, but I assume he, he might. I'm not really sure. I think he placed an order for these cases a few days ago, so it might be a delay. I'm not really sure. You'd have to contact him, as I said. So, as I said, they did change the card back a little bit as well here. Instead of having an orange name tag and the blue stripe, it's a completely gray and there's a little red stripe in the background there. Just to kind of symbolize that this is 2016 and then this is 2015. So it was kind of a conspiracy going on for quite a long time of why are these gray and the others are orange, but now we all know. So from the Piston Peak series, we have Tractor Buck is very nice the Disney store is a version of this and unlike the Cars uh, series they do not have numbers so we don't know how many are going to be in the series and on the back we have some very nice uh, new releases Secretary of the Interior who was only previously on Amazon I did purchase one but he's going to be in Plains Case B Trudy Trailway will also be in Case B and I'm predicting that Linus Lines and Winnie will be in Case C for 2016 and we have Harvey here and Razor Dusty is also in case A. The description for the series is every year thousands of visitors explore breathtaking Piston Peak National Park from the bottom of its crystal clear waters to the top of its towering cliffs. cliffs. And we have a picture of some tractor bucks and uh, does because see this is a doe that does not have antlers while uh, Tractor Buck does, and it's not really antlers, it's more like headlights, but they're supposed to resemble antlers. And I do believe that Doe and a Tractor Buck are going to be in a future six pack. We also have from the Piston Peak series, Harvey, who is a um, Winnie's wife in the, Winnie's husband in the movie, my bad. And unfortunately, I do believe the actor who played Harvey in the movie just recently died unfortunately so that's very sad because I know the couple always played uh, roles together they were always in similar movies so uh, that's very unfortunate that he died and on the back we have the same card back so I'm not gonna go over that just swaps Tractor Buck for Harvey and also from the Piston and Peak series we have Racer Dusty, and many people are overlooking him, but he is new. The wings are different, as you can see there, and we'll take a look at him, but he is very, he is slightly different, so a few people are overlooking him, and uh, I just, I'm not really sure why, but uh, he is new, so just to let you guys know that. And we have Colin Colling from the Racing Sports Network series, uh, he is the blimp. 
obviously. And on the back here, we've got two helicopters, which one has not been released, Roscoe and Vasquez was in the second case for 2015, which did not hit stores, and I purchased one. You could check out the video for that in the description, uh, but he will most likely be in a future case, obviously. And the description is the Racing Sports Network team covers every exciting moment of the Wings Around the Globe rally. And we have a picture of Roper at the Nebraska Trials. So not the best picture for that series, but it's all right. We also have Jackson from the Nebraska Trials series number 18. His last name is Riles, but for some reason they don't put it on the packaging. And on the back here we have Ty Santis, who obviously was in 2015, the first case. Uh, but he will also be in 2016 case B. Uh, Piston Sacred, I will presume, is in case C, but I'm not entirely sure. And Firebird, again, I'm not sure, but she was in the second case for 2015. And the description is, at the Nebraska Trials, Dusty and his fellow racers have one last chance to qualify for the Wings Around the Globe rally. And it shows a picture of Dusty preparing for takeoff. And to conclude, oop, uh, we have Delta. From the USS Fisenhower series, very nice, and uh, I think some people are overlooking him as well just because they're mistaking him for Echo and Bravo, who are similar fighter jets, but instead of having a silver blue helmet, red helmet, he has a yellow helmet. So a new release. We also have a re-release of Jolly Ranch's Dusty and Falco, who was in 2015 case, the second case. I'm not sure what the leather was, but I know it was the second case. And he will be in 2016 case B. And on the description, the USS Fisenhower is home to the Jolly Wrenches, a squadron of brave fighter planes and crew members. And we have a picture of one of the crew members setting up the um, kind of hatch for one of the planes there. So very nice. Uh, I'm very looking forward to getting these out of the package. So uh, let's get these open now. I just wanted to mention that I found this at a store called Big Lots. And um, probably some of you aren't aware with that store. There are not many locations in the U.S. I believe there are only about 100 or so. And they're scattered in only about 20 states. So I found this on the way home from my vacation at a Gorman's as there's not one that close to my area so I was very happy to find these for six dollars there and some people are actually finding these at Toys R Us now as well so it's nice that these are getting out and uh, about in some stores so we'll start here with Racer Dusty a very nice plane one of my favorite versions of Dusty but you know it's kind of boring just getting our version of Dusty I do have another Racer Dusty here as you can see it's the version well not really even a version it's a uh, uh, Racer Dusty I bought off eBay and it came with the eyes like that all bleeding It's like the black around it bled and kind of spread out and this is how it's supposed to look nice and clean The black all around and it looked like it bled there. So that's unfortunate I did get refunded on this So this is like a free Dusty for me and I just wanted to compare that and just to compare to a regular Dusty here And uh, see the wing difference Wings are different. It's the wings that El Chupacabra gave him with the seven on him. So here's Strut Jetstream Dusty. And he does have a new expression and has kind of the uh, raised hood, which is now a piece along with the head. Well, before it was uh, in with the metal and it was all metal. Now that's plastic, unfortunately. So it's very nice. He's got the D7 Dusty. Nothing really much to say about him. His wheels don't fold in, but they would. And he's got the um, like wood in the movie, obviously. And he's got the uh, uh, opening to connect the play sets there. So not much more for Dusty there, but it's, it's a nice plane. There are some, uh, something I just noticed, those two circles, as you can see, I'm not really sure what those are for. Um, maybe something new, but I do not know what those are for. So let's get on with something more interesting, in my opinion. Uh, we have up next... Jackson Riles, who is one of the Nebraska trial planes, very nice actually, and he is actually the first repaint of Subasa we have, who's the Japanese Wings Around the Globe racer, and uh, if you aren't aware, Nebraska trial racers are the racers that did not qualify for the World Grand Prix, they just were at the Nebraska trials uh, trying to get into the World Grand Prix, but didn't make it, while Subasa did make it. So they are the same model as you can see there, and that's the first repaint of Subasa. And I actually really like Jackson. I love kind of his classic paint scheme with the dark blue, the yellow stripe, and then the light blue with the number 18 there. It's a very nice look to him. And he has a bunch of sponsors on the side here, Aeroflex, 
I'm not really sure what the others say. I think uh, some say Aeroflow. Uh, there he's got a code up there, and I'm not sure what the two smaller ones say. So he's a very nice plane, and he also has the logos on the other side as well. And they do have very similar expressions, but they are different. I wish they gave the, him Jackson a different expression uh, to kind of differentiate them a little bit more, but they are different, as you can see. If you look closely, Jackson has green eyes, Subasa has brown, and the eyebrows are a little bit different in um, you know how high they are. So very nice, but I personally like Jackson a lot more so uh, nice point now let's move on to buck from the piston peak series and he is very nice as well i'm looking forward to getting dough and i do have a disney store version as i mentioned here it is and i have to say i like the mattel version a lot better the eyes are a lot better obviously all the disney store versions do not have the best eyes so you can see the eyes are kind of floating inside the big white box there and uh, the disney store version is dirty a little bit more detailed on the side there and the tires are muddy which is, seems more realistic but i do like having it clean i don't know it's just nice and he's uh yeah very nice and clean has kind of the same details on the side and a, a little bit more detail on the back here with the um, exhaust pipe but uh, you know, I do like Mattel. Just kind of something about Mattel that makes it better, in my opinion. And the eyes, of course, are one thing. So, uh, very nice. I uh, Although, also, the uh, scale is a lot larger. And uh, we also have dough from the Dizzy store here. So, they're about the same size, but uh, really, this should be smaller because it's a dough. So, uh, now that I think about it, the, the dough from Mattel will be quite small because you got to make it smaller than Tractor Buck. So, they're just to compare that. Both very nice though. So I really like Tractor Buck. Uh, let me know what uh, you do. You guys like the Mattel Tractor Buck or the Disney Store version? I have to say I like the Mattel version. Now let's move on to my favorite from the case, which is Harvey. Now another RV this year. We've gotten quite a few RVs, so I'm very happy to get another one. He is completely all metal, so a very heavy car indeed. And the most similar other RV released to him is Convoy Brother K. As you can see, they are very similar models, but Convoy Brother K is a lot larger. But they do have similar kind of mirrors there. Uh, very nice though. Grills are kind of similar, but obviously different as well. He's got some more of the air vents on top here as well. But very nice. And one detail that I really like about Harvey, which I didn't notice in the movie, is that on his uh, extra tire in the back of the cover, has a, a, a United States map on it that includes Hawaii and Alaska as well. All colored states. That's very nice. I really do like that. And uh, I'm not really sure even what state Piston Peak National Park is, but it's probably in one of the uh, western states, I believe. So I really do like Harvey. I cannot wait to get Winnie. I love the detail details on him. And these are supposed to be glasses, if you didn't see on the card, uh, the brown around his eyes. So very nice indeed. I really do like this car. Now, uh, I actually did want to compare them real quick, though, to Larry Camper, which is the uh, other RV that was recently released. Some people have been finding him at Walmart, which is nice. So, just a kind of a size comparison. They're not really that similar, though. Now, let's move on to Delta, the fighter jet from the USS Fleisenhauer. Now, since we have Delta, Bravo, and Echo, we might get other... Uh, fire jets like Alpha and Charlie but I personally wouldn't like to see those just because I'm not really sure how many more of these they can make it just kind of get boring after a while but uh, as I said Alpha and Charlie are other like military terms as Delta Echo and Bravo are military terms as well so they can be the first ones in the alphabet so very nice as you can see he's got the yellow helmet so Echo having a red helmet and Bravo having the kind of gray with blue lightning stripes there so he is basically the same, just the colors are different. You know, he's got yellow on the nose. All of them have yellow on the nose, but he is yellow on his missiles here, while the other ones are just gray. So, you know, he's a nice addition. I like to put him on my um, aircraft carrier. He'll fill it up. He'll be the last one I can put on there. And um, a little bit more yellow. Actually, no, that's yellow on there, too, just to check. VF-17, as you can see there. And the back wings are actually quite different as well. You can see a lot more yellow up here, a little bit different. The JW is yellow, and he's 21 with a white stripe there. 13 for Bravo, and for Echo here, 10. So Echo and Bravo are a lot more similar to each other than Delta is to them. So very nice. The expression's not my favorite, though. I'm not really sure what his eyes are doing there. 
But uh, it's a nice addition, I have to say. It does even say Delta on his uh, helmet there, too, if you can see. And um, he is number 127 on the side there. And the others don't really... Actually, he does have a number, but it's kind of worn off on mine. Two, 210, his name uh, number up there is 210. And uh, Bravo is 113. And like all planes that have a front single wheel, it should fold in like that. Very nice. You could pop it out a lot easier. Just, uh, just kind of grabbing on that, and then uh, pulling up. Even though it's a lot harder than I imagine, you just kind of grab it. There you go. So a nice release, but not my favorite, obviously. Now let's move on to uh, the blimp, Colin Colling from the Racing Sports Network series. And there have been many blimps released in the car series, such as Al. Uh, not many blimps, but one other blimp character, which is Al. Uh, Aloft the blimp, and he is actually bigger than Colin. As you can see, we have the deluxe version of Aloft, and we have the single version of Aloft. So uh, three different sizes of blimps, which is nice to get. And actually, Colin feels a lot heavier and a lot more. I don't know. Uh, it seems like it's not entirely hollow on the inside. It just feels like it's a little bit more. Uh, there's something, it's a little heavier than Aloft, in my opinion. I feel like it's heavier. And, um, he's got nice details on the side, Racing Sports Network, with the checkerboard there, very nice. He also has the code PASS1, uh, same thing for the other blimps as well. So it's kind of interesting, they made them all different sizes. Well, obviously these two are different, but I'm surprised they didn't make these the same size, uh, because they could just use the same model. But it's nice that they changed it up a little bit. And the uh, the uh, only part that's metal is kind of the part right here where the, the uh, kind of control system is. He's got a headset there. I actually really do like his expression for what what uh, what it is there. Man, if we get focus, there we go. You can see the headset there with some propellers in the back, and it's quite a bit different for Aloft. Bigger and some things on the side there that uh, uh, Colin does not have. So very nice, I have to say I like Colin Colin better than Aloft, but uh, that's just my opinion. So very nice to conclude the planes uh, featured in this case, and I'm looking forward to doing a review of the next case, which should be coming in a few weeks, I'm not exactly sure when it'll actually arrive, but uh, that case also has some nice cars in it as well. So thank you guys for watching this review, I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video, and um, yeah, I do apologize for the length of this video. It's just there's a lot of uh, planes to review, so thank oh, don't fall on him. But uh, thank you guys again for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.